What is up my buttery biscuits? So in today's video I have another review for you. Obviously as you can tell by my makeup, this is the same makeup look that I did in the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette review. If you are interested in this makeup look because y'all it came out pretty bomb, you guys can go ahead and check out that Pat McGrath video for a tutorial on this look. I actually created three videos with this same makeup, same shirt, same backdrop y'all. So you guys are going to see a lot of repetitiveness, but I was like, you know what? I might as well just film multiple videos while I have my makeup on, especially because I really, really liked it. Um, so in today's video, I will be reviewing the One Size Beauty Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist by Patrick Starr. I'm very, very intrigued to see how this is because if y'all have been on my channel for a long time, um, years ago, I really, really liked the Urban Decay Makeup Removing Spray, y'all. It was really, really bomb and very convenient. However, to me, I was like, it's really expensive. Like, it's $26 for, like, three ounces. Y'all, I got a big face, so I'm going to have to use a lot of spray, so that would end up costing a whole lot of money. Just to let you guys know, I did not purchase the wipes because I felt like that was really, really expensive, and I really do like my Walmart Equate wipes. Y'all, nobody likes them. I'm literally probably the only person on this planet that likes them. However, I really like them because they are naturally derived and just very, very gentle for my skin. Everyone's like, oh, I don't like them, but I love them. And y'all, I get 120 of them for $5 as to where Patrick Stars are $15 for 21 That to me is insane. And y'all did bring it to my attention in my thought attention. Uh, y'all brought it to my attention in my thoughts and opinions video that you can just cut the wipes in half, therefore, to make it 42 wipes rather than 21. However, within Patrick Stars' video, he did use a full wipe as well as the spray. So to me, that's very expensive. Can you imagine spending $26 on the spray? $15 for 21 wipes and using a full wipe y'all that to me I was just like oh no that's not the one I will stick with my equate y'all my little five dollars for 120 because I feel like those are just really really good and gentle on my skin and I like them especially because they are 99% naturally derived I don't know why for some reason they just they're really good on my skin because a lot of makeup remover wipes are just very abrasive and kind of on my skin especially like the mac ones y'all when I used to work at mac those I was like oh that my face would literally be the color of this backdrop. I'm not even kidding you. Straight up, I would be walking out of there and people would mistake me for the Kool-Aid man, y'all. It was really that bad. So... I just stick with what I like and it's that. Um, however, I do like, recently I've really been liking the um, Blueberry Bounce by Glow Recipe, y'all. It's like $10 and their makeup remover is really, really good. It's actually a face wash, but you could use it as a makeup remover, so I like that. However, I really wanted to try this because it seems extremely convenient, just like the Urban Decay um, makeup dissolving spray. Not mist, I almost called it a mist because this one's a mist. So anyways, that's going to be my review in today's video. It's been a long time since I've done like a D get ready with me or un get ready with me not d get ready with me anyway so i will be taking off my beanie obviously i won't be doing <laughs> this with my beanie i finally got my cyst removed y'all um so i'm gonna show you guys in today's video actually because um i took out the stitches myself because i was not about to drive back to mexico to get rid of two stitches so i took them out myself and i'm actually really really proud y'all my forehead is like i'm not my forehead my head is back to looking perfectly round again so i'm really excited for that y'all let me stop rambling about some random stuff let's go ahead and get into the video if you guys are new here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so that we get notified when i upload a new video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up because i would really appreciate that and let's go to get into it all right y'all so i want to tell you guys my experience like just that way you know sephora whew, they got on my nerves when trying to purchase this i tried to order it actually the day that it came out however they decided to notify me five days later i was just thinking that the shipping was taking a while you know they decided to notify me saying that the product was out of stock so therefore it like returned or gave me like a refund on my card so i was like what i went to the website and it was still in stock and y'all i want to mention this one thing i was about to purchase it from onesizebeauty.com however patrick star is charging i think it's like seven or 795 for shipping that to me is crazy i'm so sorry but i'm like y'all i'm really really cheap when it comes to uh shipping so that's why i prefer to just order off of sephora because you just use code free ship and you get it for free so i was like he got shipping for seven dollars like what like i'm sorry but i know the shipping rate especially for a product like this it should cost like three dollars so the fact that he's charging seven i'm like oh no but Anyways, um, what ended up being really cool about the situation is Sephora ended up contacting me back and sending um, an email saying, we're so sorry for the confusion. Um, we're going to go ahead and give you $5 off your next order as well as the code free ship. So I ended up getting $5 off of this. So it came out to um, $19 rather than $24. However, it just took a while longer. Something was apparently wrong with their system because I did contact on the chat. Um, so while I was on the chat, the uh, Sephora representative did say the product is out of stock, but I'm like, it's 
says that it's in stock on your website though and the worker's like no it's out of stock and i'm like but why does it say that it's in stock he's like it show out of stock on mine and i'm like it says in stock so we were just like going back and forth um but then i ended up getting that email the next day saying oh you should repurchase this product here's five dollars off and i was like okay don't mind if i do so anyways let me go ahead and read this to you just to let you guys know this is 24 dollars for 3.4 ounces that's pretty pricey if you do ask me because I'm really, really cheap when it comes to makeup remover. Maybe I should invest a little bit more because I've been taking my skincare very, very seriously. However, that is expensive to me, y'all. So this says on the Sephora details what it is. An epic continuous mist that slips over the skin effort eff a little effortlessly and instantly dissolves heavy makeup without leaving skin feeling tight or dry. Skin type, normal dry combination and oily, y'all. Every single video I tell you, whenever I purchase something from Sephora, literally, they swear that every single product on the world is good for every single skin type. I'm like, y'all, because I'm really curious how this is because a lot of people who have severely oily skin may not like it because it may be like, you know, very, very, let me bring out their oils even more, especially because it has rosehip oil in it. So it says, uh, skincare concerns, dryness and oiliness. I, okay. I don't see how that could be when it has oil in it, but you know, whatever. Um, highlighted ingredients, jojoba, calms and hydrates, rosehip oil, moisturizes, exfoliates, and brightens. Recently, I've been into my rosehip by The Ordinary. I've been using it for a week now, so I've really, really liked that. So I liked the fact that this had it in there. I was like, okay, cool, added hydration for me because the older I get, the more dry I get, y'all, and that's kind of crazy. So it says this also on the Sephora website, ingredient callouts, free of sulfates, SLS, SLES, parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde, <laughs> releasing agents, flathlates, mineral oil, retinol. I can't read half of these things. I would like to know what these ingredients are because if they're in the ingredient call outs, they're saying, oh, we don't have this in there. So it's great to not have it in there, but I'm like, I don't even know how to pronounce these things. So um, oxybenzone, coal tar, hydroquinone, uh, triclosan, y'all triclo carbon this product is also vegan and cruelty free okay that's great i cannot read those words and i really apologize that y'all had to hear that because i have no idea how to pronounce them so if y'all want to school me down in the comments and kind of break it down for me let me know um what else you need to know this no drip mist is patrick star's secret to removing full glam makeup the super fine spray applies evenly to the face and is infused with calming jojoba and brightening rosehip oils to refresh and soothe skin while removing makeup with ease okay so I just want to put this out there too. Um, before we get into this, I actually really like the concept. I was reading some of your guys' comments, like why did he come out with makeup remover? I actually really like that he had a story to him coming out with makeup removing wipes and makeup removing spray. I thought it was a really cool story ever since he worked at Mac, which like I said inside my video, I felt that was kind of weird because I worked at Mac at the same time as him and y'all, my managers were encouraging me every day to wear makeup and y'all, I was like, I'm too lazy to be putting on makeup every day. So no. So I was just, you know, it was really intriguing to actually see, you know, and hear his story and the reason why he came out with this first. And I feel like a lot of brands don't have stories behind their products. So I thought it was really nice, even though quite a few of you didn't really care about his story. I was like, okay. Um, so anyways, let's see, is there, there's no type of instructions. There was no instructions on the Sephora site either. This just says the same thing. Oh, there it goes right there. I'm so stupid. So this says direction, spray eight to 10 inches away from face until it is evenly coated, massage onto skin and gently wipe off. To remove your full beat of makeup, pair with go off juiciest makeup remover wipes. I think not boo, not for that price. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get my wipes ready and take off my beanie and then let's go ahead and try this out. All right, y'all. So don't pay attention to my forehead because I do not have any makeup on there because I threw on my beanie. Um, also, duh, let me take off my lashes. Um, I'm really, really sad to wipe off this makeup look, y'all, because I just felt like it is just so beautiful whenever I do my makeup and it's like this good. I'm like... Ugh, I don't want to take it off. Oh, anyways, I forgot. I told you I would tell you guys about my sis. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. I'm sorry. I'm like screaming in the mic, but I just got so excited. Like my head is back to being round again. If you guys check out my old videos, there was a lump right there. I would show you the pictures of the cyst, but y'all, I would get demonetized and that's not good. So um, to start this off with, I want to go ahead and do this makeup, um, this waterproof makeup on my hand. Let me shake this and then I'm going to spray this on here. Oh, yeah. Y'all, there is just, oh, it smells really good. Oh, my gosh. You know, 
It smells like a perfume, but like a luxurious perfume. There, I was gonna tell you, there is something about me and mist. Like, honestly, y'all know I'm like, ugh, against Morphe, but I love their continuous mist setting spray just because it's a fine mist. And this, I just put like two little sprays and I'm not sure if you can see on my hand. So I'm just letting that sit in for just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my wipes here. I feel like that is enough. And let's go ahead and see if it removes waterproof makeup easily. Oh, you know what? It sure does. You know what? Except for this liquid lipstick. It removed everything else really well, except for there is a little bit of liquid lipstick left on there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, you just kind of have to scrub a little harder, but it does get it off. This liquid lipstick, actually, the one that I did use um, to help me create this um, wing liner, it is very, very difficult to come off. So I will say that. However, I mean, it did come off. You just have to scrub a little bit harder. Okay. I really like the smell, y'all. Like, the smell just smells like... It smells luxurious. It smells... It smells fancy, you know? You know what it smells like? It smells like the Aria in Vegas. It smells like a like a fancy hotel in Vegas. That's what it smells like. So, anyways, the, let me read the directions again um, because I'm stupid and I already forgot. Spray 8 to 10 inches away from face until it is evenly coated. Massage onto skin. I don't want to massage onto skin. I just want to wipe it away. Anyways, y'all, am I tripping or does 8 to 10 inches away from the face seem kind of far? I, like, want to spray it closer. Th that way none goes to waste because this is very expensive. But, anyways, let's go ahead and bust out a mirror. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray this on. He did in his video, like, an O and then an S and I was like that's a whole lot so oh buy makeup oh you're starting to look busted anyways so let's go ahead and see let me shut my mouth okay the smell bomb I like that it's not like too fragranted um okay I'm gonna go ahead and just let this sit on <laughs> I look like a glazed donut, y'all. Like a glazed donut potato, if that makes any type of sense. I'm gonna just go ahead and let this sit in. Can you imagine if I was like, all right, y'all, I'm ready to go out. This is my final look. This is what I look like after the club, y'all. Okay, I am way too talkative today. I apologize. I really apologize. I've been I've been on my coffee kick, y'all. I went on my little road trip and I went to... Oh, I see some mist inside the... Oh, wow, the mist is going around because I have my little fan on. Anyways, I went on a road trip, right? And I discovered Dutch Bros. I've never had it before in my life. <laughs> and y'all, tell me why I went on to Amazon and I ordered the, um, what is it called? The Toroni, the like the little pump, right? Because I fell in love with their banana drink. Oh, their banana coffee. So I ordered it from Amazon. Um, that way I could like try to make my own at home because y'all, in Southern California, there is no Dutch Bros. So I'm very bitter about that. But if y'all haven't tried Dutch Bros, try it. It is bomb. It is better than Starbucks, in my opinion. But the flavors are, like, really, really overwhelming. So, I let this sit in for a while. I feel like, oh, you know what? I don't think I got enough on this side. So, let me go ahead and just spray a little bit more here. Okay, that smell I could get used to. I really like the smell. I feel like it's very light. So, um, let's go ahead and just wipe this off okay okay all right well that came off pretty easy i'm not sure if you saw the shadow the shadow came off very very easy normally with these wipes especially because like i said they are natural i kind of have to scrub a bit you know but that was really easy y'all gonna see my full redness because people always comment, like, you're not even really red. I'm like, girl, you are tripping. It's the lights. Let me remove this makeup. Um, okay, this really does remove very, very easily. And no type of burning, no type of irritation so far. My skin does get red, y'all, so don't feel like I am, you know, getting burned by this product. Um, you know what? I want to spray some on my lips because I do have on a liquid lipstick as well as a liner. So let me go ahead and see... With this eye, just like one swipe here. Yep. Well, I did two swipes. But, y'all, that is pretty darn good. Okay. All right, Patrick. I will say, so far, I am liking this, and I love the continuous mist. However, the price point, I do wish it was a little bit more affordable. But y'all know I'm cheap, though. Like, I'm just super cheap. Um, But this is removing very, very easily. I kind of want to spray a little bit more, like, just to make sure I get it all off. And I do want to spray some on my lips, even though I'm kind of scared to get it by my mouth. But I'm sure it's all good. Let's go ahead and... I'm pretty sure you're, like, not supposed to spray it around your eyes. But, like, how do you not do that? You know what I mean? Like, 
Okay. By the way, this is still the same wipe. Like, y'all, even though these are super cheap, I'm still cheap with it. Because, look, I do want to be a little bit more environmentally cautious. And I know everyone always complains about makeup wipes. However, I just feel like they're super, super convenient. Especially if you get the naturally derived ones, you know? So, I just use one wipe, though. Okay. Y'all. Okay. All right. This is actually pretty good. Like, this to me, I, I don't know. I just really love the convenience of this. Like... Because, y'all, I be having to scrub my face with my wipes. And that's why people are like, wipes are not good for your face. Use a, a face halo. But I'm like, you're still scrubbing your face and still pulling your face. Same thing with makeup eraser. You're still pulling on your face. Okay, let me just go ahead and scrub this all off. I really, you know what? I know what he means by saying that the skin doesn't feel tight or dry. Because this actually feels really, really good. Like... In a weird way, it feels like I'm moisturizing my skin as I'm removing my makeup because it doesn't feel tight. Because I do know with some makeup removers, you will feel like tight, you know? All right, y'all. So I have my makeup fully removed. My skin feels very soft. I'm actually very, very surprised with this because my, my skin doesn't feel overly dry. It doesn't feel like I just like scrub the heck out of it. It feels really, really good. And I forgot to mention too, I did have on a waterproof mascara and it just removed that with ease. Normally it is a dread to remove waterproof um, mascara because it just, whew, it just lingers all over the place and makes a mess. And y'all, this just took it all away it is completely gone um overall to give you guys my final review of this i love it i really really do um i do feel like the price is a little bit expensive considering it's only 3.4 ounces however i didn't spray too much i guess i should have pressed however i did a continuous hold um but i don't feel like i sprayed too much on there y'all let me know if i you know if you feel like i sprayed a lot but i don't feel like i did i'm curious to see how long this will last because this was really really nice um i want to see though I'll, I'll update you guys in another video or something if I have any type of breakouts because sometimes with new um, makeup removers, my skin does break out a little bit. So I do want to see if this makes my skin break out. Like I said, I'll update you in a future video. But as of right now, my skin feels very, very good. If you guys have this, let me know if you feel the same way. Like, I'm like, my skin feels very smooth. I don't know if maybe it's because of the jojoba or the rosehip oil, but it feels very, very nice. So overall, y'all, I give this two thumbs up. I really like it and I love the continuing mist. I just feel like it's very, very convenient and easy to use, especially if you guys are like me and like to go out. Not that I can go out right now, but when the pandemic's over, if you are like me and you like to go out, y'all, at the end of the night, when you come home drunk, you know, I'm like, oh, I don't want to ruin my makeup. I feel like things like this are so, so easy because you literally just spray and bam, just wipe away. So I recommend this. I just wish that he would lower the price a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But overall, this is really, really bomb. If you guys have the wipes, let me know how you like the wipes because I'm curious about that. However, I just won't purchase those. They're too expensive for me. This, I feel like, will last me longer, even though it is technically more expensive. But... I just feel like, I don't know, it just really removed it very, very easily. And honestly, y'all, normally my skin looks a little bit more red after, uh, I was going to say skin removal, after makeup removal. And right now, I don't feel like this is like good. This is toned down red for me because y'all, I get so, so red. But anyways, y'all, overall, I really, really like it. I'm excited to use it a little bit more. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.